I've been a Rob Zombie fan since I was in like seventh grade. He hasn't been in the studio in a long time either. When was the last time he did the O and A show? K Rock. That was it, right? He did yeah. it once at K Rock, and he hasn't been. Excellent. No, you did something here with him. Well, I've interviewed him a couple times. Yeah. Since then, I think, but I don't think he's done O and A since K Rock. Yeah, you interviewed him at Comic Con. I interviewed him at Comic Con, but That's then the I, last. I remember yeah. I've interviewed him. I think two times up here because the first time I ever got to sit down and interview him, Jess and me were supposed to be going. <laughs> Jess and me were supposed to be going to Disney World. And we had all the plans, and everything was laid out. And uh, and we find out, like, Annabella, the talent booker, she came up to me, and she goes, because O&A were on vacation. And so Annabella goes, hey, Rob Zombie and his wife are going to be in town. O&A aren't here. And this was before I had my show. I was doing something, I'm sure, but I wasn't doing a lot of interviews. Like, now I'm interviewing people for the show every week. You know, back then I wasn't doing a lot of interviews. So it's very exciting premise. DJ Who Kid just stopped by. We had Rob Zombie up here. You know, are you Rob Zombie guy? You aware of Rob Zombie? Uh, yeah, I'm very well aware. He Why? Fucking, uh, the, the, he's like my worst interview of all time. He didn't. It didn't go well. No, I mean, I interviewed him like years ago for uh, that's what I mean. Fucking Halloween, and it did not go well. It was the worst. Him and his wife. I had him and his wife on my show. That must have been the same day. It was years ago. Oh, fuck because it. I was saying you did not. I love him. Can I show you something, who kid? Yeah. This may affect you. Get the fuck out of here. That's his logo. Um, tattooed on my arm. I got that when I was in college. <laughs> you are and then a, pussy, man. a little that? what? A little, <laughs> a little while after that, I got him to sign it, and then tattooed that on. What? Yeah, that's Jack White under. He did there. not do that. You yeah, serious? that's his real autograph. Get and I tattooed it on after it was uh, when the Educated Horses albums was, album was out, and I got I went to an autograph signing. Yeah, I got him to sign my arm. Went to his show that and then, night. And you had it tattooed. And then the next morning went to a tattoo place and got him to go over it. That's kind of ill. It's kind of ill, right? Yeah. It's not too pussy, is it? I think I got him on a bad day. I mean, not fuck him. Well, he's, but he's, 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 he's known. Uh, Tom Papa was in here just talking about him earlier. He's not. For a lot of times, he can be a difficult interview. Yeah. Like, for me, I think he knew I was a fan, so I know everything about him. So it was easy. I, he probably likes that, like, I'm just this weirdo who's got his name tattooed on me. Because I showed him when I interviewed him. I mean, he probably wants to fuck you. He's got, I, do you think so? <laughs> you got his tattoo. I bro. mean, I guess I would if he wanted to, if he brought it You're up. I'm a fan. <laughs> Roland, would you suck Rob Zombie's dick? He probably would. Yeah, yeah for a booking, yeah, why not? <laughs> Times are tough, though. You, you would, right? Yeah, Most celebrities. You have to keep all celebrities booking. I'll do all, any celebrity. But so here's what happened, and I think this was even before me and you were really hanging out. Mm. This was years ago, because like I said, I wasn't doing a lot of interviews. Okay. And uh, Annabella, the talent booker, was like, O and A are on vacation. Do you want to interview Rob Zombie and his wife? And I was like, yes. Oh, so you, you interviewed him too. Right, but that, at that point, that was like a dream come true. It wasn't like... Get the fuck. So it was good for you then. Yeah, well, yeah, it was great, but oh, what okay. I had to do was I had to call up Jess, my wife, mm -hmm. and be like, look, I know we booked travel to go to Disney World. <laughs> we got to push it back a day. Get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, we got to push, push it. She was like, we're leaving in four days. What do you mean? I go, no, no, no. We have to push it back a day. You deaded Harry Potter world for fucking Rob Zombie. <laughs> so, Fuck you, man. Yeah, so we had to push everything back, and I ran up in here <laughs> to get the interviews done. But it was such a thrill. I mean, I, I'm a Halloween fan. Every black person is. You know, yeah. everybody, everybody loves Halloween. And Which I've, is weird, because black people are so afraid of music. Yeah. I mean, that, uh, magic. <laughs> magic. <laughs> music. Black well, people are so afraid of magic. We're, we're scared of horror flicks, period. Because, you know, the black dude don't go in the dark area. Only white mm -hmm. people do. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to check shit. Yo, let me go check. Ah! But that's like, your job in the horror movies. The black guy is the... He has to go check shit. And then he's the one who dies. Yeah, yeah like he's guy, the one gotta, friend of the convinced. Of course. They always kill the black guy real quick, but... All I was talking about his wife stripping in the fucking movie. He oh, he probably, stuff. Well, yeah, he probably wouldn't have liked that. That's the best part of that whole movie. I know, but don't you have a sense of <laughs> when you're talking to somebody what? to not <laughs> keep going after they're obviously... Like, when you throw something at someone, right? Yeah, yeah. And you know, especially if it's their wife stripping... And you're like, this is, in your head, you're going, this will be a funny thing to talk about. Yeah, I told him I had a hard on. And the, Yeah, I know. I had a hard on over your wife. You throw that at somebody, it can go one of two ways. Like, for me, I'd be like, oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you for saying that. I guess I married out of my league. What a wonderful, <laughs> let's talk, tell me more about your hard on. His wife was happy. She was like, hee, 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 hee. But, but for Rob Zombie, he was like, He's like how about we don't you. talk about this? <laughs> Fuck you. Well, But instead of your style... 
Exactly. Instead of being like, I'm going to move on to the next thing then. And and kind no, of bring I stayed there. You stayed there. I, I was like, yo, the strip, the, the <laughs> movement, the going around the pole, it was crazy. Yeah. She's a slut, I guess. I don't know. In no, she's movie. not a slut. In, in the movie, movie. maybe her character. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but that's what I that's what I enjoyed. I didn't care about, you know Michael Myers the and mask and the sister running and all but that. But he's done shit. so much. He couldn't brought up his music. Like, it was like a prequel, right? It was like they did they, they, they went back in time. They added some prequel out. Did yeah. you see the movie, Who Can? Tell yeah. me the truth. I mean I saw a little bit of it. You didn't see it. Did, did you tell me the did you, you saw s- I saw the previous? Right. Did you <laughs> did you watch <laughs> Beyond the Stripper part? Nope. No, you didn't see. <laughs> you didn't check out the movie. I like the original Halloween. Like, yeah, you know that's what that, that, that's why I'm always eating that Activia. Like I love Activia. <laughs> I stay with Activia, but ass. Delicious. You what? put it. You're not supposed to put it in your ass. It's supposed you, to help you clean out your your things. I know, you but you eat it. No, no, you eat it, and nah, then it clears you your Yeah, she it's she yogurt. Did. She told me to put it in my ass. Who, Jamie Lee Curtis? When I had her last time. Yeah, she was fucking with you. <laughs> she, you had a good interview with her. Yeah, that was gangster. So Rob Zombie was maybe your worst interview. Yeah, all time. I interviewed wow. over eight hundred people up here yeah. in the nine years I've been here. Like every star, and he was like, he's the only one that was whack. That is so funny because it was. I was. I was saying like when I interviewed him for the first time, mm. it's very early into my interview career. Now I'm like you, who kid? Me and you are up here interviewing people on the daily. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But back then, I wasn't doing interviews. And so when they're like, you know, your idol from when you were a kid. Who's, That's crazy. You, you have his exploded. name tattooed on your arm. You explode. You can interview. Yeah, I came in my pants a little bit. I do it, yeah. A little bit. But that doesn't make That's me pussy, pussy, does it? Yeah, he's a pussy. Right? Oh, man. You're a fallopian tube. But so I, I guess I didn't realize what a risk I was running of, like, when you meet somebody you're a fan of mm. and they turn out to be a dick. Because to me, he wasn't a dick. <laughs> to me, he was awesome. And then I interviewed him, and he was awesome, and the whole thing was just fantastic. I was like, what a great experience this Was your been. wife happy for you? She understands. But you, but weren't, you weren't married at that time. <laughs> huh? You weren't married at that time. No, but I was yeah, I was dating her. Oh, okay. And long-term dating. Dicking it down. I was digging or dicking? Dicking it down. Dicking it. Yeah, I was dicking it down at the time. Uh. <laughs> you know, I was dicking it down and heading to <laughs> Florida and everything. But I don't think I've ever had that experience where... The only time Jess said that she took a little bit of umbrage with Rob Zombie once, and I thought this was funny when he did it. So for the record, I was like, okay, he should be making fun of me a little bit. Okay. Because before I got to interview him, this was when he was at K-Rock, when he did Opie and Anthony Mm. uh, for the first time while I was working there. I had met him at the signing when I got my arm signed. And I had talked to him at Comic Con that Roland had set up. Oh wow! And that Get was a it. fucking thrill of my lifetime at that point Shit, in my life. I mean, a, wow, that was crazy. Damn. But I printed out the photos that I had taken with him, so I had two, right? <laughs> and I asked him to sign them in the green room, and he was like, "Okay." And I was like, "Could you sign this one too?" And there's another picture of him and me, and he goes, "Okay," and he signs it. And then Eric is standing there with the camera, and I go, "Hey, would you mind taking a photo?" <laughs> <laughs> Eric, do you remember this moment? Yeah, yeah, I said hold the photo up. Yeah, I, I, but he goes, you know what Rob said? What is he He goes, yeah, of course. And he stands next to me and he puts his fist up for the photo and then he goes, I don't know what's going to make this one any different from the last two you got. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> I took a photo with his wife only. I didn't even have him on the shot. You, you asked him, please, could yeah, you step aside, Mr. Zombie? You know what I'm saying? You son of a bitch. <laughs> Don't ever disrespect the zombie family like that. If I had had one more question with him today, yeah. I would have asked him, why no zombie babies? <laughs> why no little zombie kids running around? I, I think the world needs another I, generation I of zombies. Think, I don't think he likes jokes, because he was very serious about that movie. And I think the movie got bad ratings at that time, because the prequel was like kind of iffy. It ended up doing well. But he was saying, yeah, yeah he was saying today that at first exactly. it was like iffy. So, iffy. But we don't bring that up in an interview you know what i'm saying no it's supposed to be a good time who's we no when when they come on your show you're not supposed oh, to market oh, we not, interviewers yeah we're not supposed to like yo i heard a movie's whack but hopefully everybody sees it. you're not gonna say that right like I, i'm hearing terrible things about the movie is that upsetting so, to you exactly. <laughs> be like yes yes <laughs> yes so, why would you ask that question but he just got like you know bad reviews and some you know i guess some, he got that info so he come on my show mm-hmm. and i'm joking i'm talking about his wife's pussy for an hour Right, and, and he's like, I don't want to talk about that anymore. My movie's about the bomb. Like, <laughs> but then it did it. It did it, obviously, right. but he, he wasn't feeling too happy. I think he also, Rob Zombie, this is one of the reasons I like him. Rob Zombie strikes me as the type of guy who just surrounds himself 
with what he likes and what likes him. Yeah. And beyond that, he doesn't want it in his world. He doesn't want it. Yeah. He's, he's, you know what I mean? Like he's not interested in listening to anybody who doesn't like him. Yeah. He's not interested in listening to people who who don't like his ideas. Mm. You know what I mean? He has a vision, and you can either follow that vision with him. And usually it's a good vision. Who of kid? course. I got all his albums. I got all his movies. He's a fucking smart guy. That's the vision, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, he doesn't want you around him. So I feel like when he comes in to do interviews, and a lot of guys are like, I mean, and you can tell, you know, the way Tom Papa was describing his yeah. house. He wants all kinds of horror movie posters everywhere and all this stuff. He likes, and, he, and, he was, and he's working all the time. Mm. He's a guy who likes... I mean, he's an incredible musician. Like, come on. Right. Can't sleep on him. He's a guy who likes to have what's him hit around him all the time, what mm. he likes around him. So when he, I feel like when he comes in to do interviews, he doesn't know when he walks in if it's going to be like a f crazy little fanboy geek like me. Mm. And he likes that because if you're a fanboy geek, then you're down. He's probably happy because he probably would never be able to fuck his wife. He probably thought I had a... I don't think that was the problem. Who you don't think so? No, I think his wife and him are committed to each other and are in a loving relationship. His wife looked like she had black dick before. No, I don't think so. Who okay. Can? I don't think so. Maybe I assume too much. And I think that that's what happens. <laughs> Sometimes he walks into interviews and he ends up sitting across the table from a fucking asshole. <laughs> DJ who I kid. I have a boner though. You probably asked. He saw it too. You probably asked. I heard your booty's about to bomb. Is that he true? He saw my shit. He saw your shit? I said, what are you, what are you looking at? <laughs> That's not true. My Michael Bayer. Yeah. I don't believe that for a second. This is turning into a horror movie. Uh, Marshall in Texas. Hey, Sammy, you're a pro bro, dude. I'm a pro bro? <laughs> Professional broadcaster. I like that. That's like some Cavino and Rich terminology. A pro bro. <laughs> yeah. Professional broadcaster. Pro yeah. Pro dude bro. You got the tattoo and everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shit, dude. I kept uh, freaking out because he sounded like Steve C. with testosterone. Rob, <laughs> with testosterone, it's true. Without that sort of weird lispy thing that Steve C. always had. Rob Zombie has this crazy, like... Announcery voice. Oh, get out of here! Yeah, like when you, I mean, you talk to him. What do you mean, get out of here? Like, You've let's get ready to rumble. Like, no, like uh, a like a voiceover guy. Like he oh. could do if he wasn't doing this, he could do radio production or something. Yeah. He's just got this like you know, everything he does is great. Alan Thick Jr. His wife got uh, a nice mouth too. Why would you bring up his wife again, DJ? I Luke, we're talking. I understand. She's a Sherry Moon Zombie. Is a beaut. That's her oh, name. Man. She's a beautiful woman. She's also very, very talented. She can dance. Got a nice mouth. She can act. <laughs> nice mouth. Well, all right, new kid. We're not talking about that. That throat. God damn it. <laughs> Michael in Georgia. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning. I, well, I was good until Who Kid came in and started making trouble. I was talking about her uterus. And God I damn it. <laughs> this is why people... Now you get it. This is turning into your worst interview ever. This one with me right here. <laughs> Quit busting who kids' balls. <laughs> man, I tell you whose balls he's busting. Yeah. Hey, how much ass do I have to kiss to get a T-shirt today? Uh, I'll tell you what, Michael. We're going to send you a T-shirt and a mixtape. How about that? That's hot. I would love it. Long, make the shirt extra fat. And, all right, since you're a fat guy, <laughs> I don't know if the T-shirt will fit, but to make it better... I will send you Opie's finished Sudoku puzzle of the day. Get the fuck out of here. Today's note, and this is a special one. Today's okay. note uh, says, play Dirty Water by the Strandells. That's a little note to himself. Remember when he did that on the show today, E-Rock? Yes. He wrote it on this thing. I'm going to send it to you, Michael. I appreciate it. All right, hold on. He finished a, He finished that puzzle, yo? Yeah. Who, uh, who could, Opie's got a new thing. The smart motherfucker. Well, it's not that he, when he, he sits here while the show is on. Not during commercial breaks. No way. He does it while the show's on. Get the on. fuck out of here. And who can, we don't play music. Smart motherfucker, yo. While there's talking and everything happening. Uh, maybe maybe Rob Zombie interview helped him out. Like yeah, yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, Jim and Anthony mm. were talking about Trayvon Martin for oh, like yeah. an hour and a half. Get out of here. So like Obi could have probably finished 14 Sudoku puzzles <laughs> in, that, in that amount of time. He finds his moments... And he completes them successfully, like you said, who kid? Mm. Smart motherfucker. He's a smart motherfucker. Thursday's gonna be a tough one, though. A lot of guests. Who's coming in on Thursday? Uh, Trayvon Martin's coming in. Kevin Smith, Jason Hughes. <laughs> okay, Jay and Silent Bob. I don't know. Is Trayvon coming in or no? He's deceased, isn't he? But we have something. Oh, we have right, right. We have, Tom, <laughs> we have Tom Sizemore. Tom Sizemore. 
Yeah. Jay Silent Bob, Tom Sizemore, all the drug addicts are coming in. And then Ricky Gervais. Wow. It's like crackhead weekend or something. That is a big Thursday. I don't uh, know if Ricky Gervais is technically a crackhead. I don't think so. <laughs> but if you had that lineup, who kid, you would call it uh, Crackhead Thursday? You know, sniff the line. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I, Maniac. I, I read Obi's uh, tweet, too. He was saying there's, there's no, like... Uh, Responses to what black people do to white people, you know, I I, I was bugging when I saw that. What tweet. do you mean? Now you know how they always like tweet like the atrocities that they do to black people, mm -hmm. like, black people getting shot or killed, but mm -hmm. there's no black violence towards the white people. You don't see that in the news too tough. Oh, I understand what you you're saying. saying. So right, when I saw right, that right. tweet out, you know, the, the white in me, I felt so like you get happy you, and, and you'll side more with Anthony on this stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're of more course. of a white supremacist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. Of course. <laughs> okay, good to know that, DJ. Okay. Uh, Anthony in Florida, different Anthony. <laughs> Dan, Anthony in Florida, you are not a white supremacist, correct? Thank you for yeah for clarification. I am clear. I'm not a white supremacist. No, I haven't chosen a party. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I was calling about. Um, you were talking about like me, the fear of meeting a celebrity that you like mm. and being disappointed. Yeah. Oh, by the way, prime time, who kid? What's up? How you doing? What up, son? Talk to you. What up, kid? <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, so I met a celebrity, and circumstantially, it just kind of let me down because he was kind of a dick. But I don't, I don't know if you want to name names. Name names. Yeah, like, put the name out there. Yeah, this is what this show uh, is. Okay. I... You guys, all right? You guys know the band Anthrax? Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big, uh, I like Anthrax, and uh, I met Anthrax after a concert in Orlando at uh, one of the venues. I think it was House of Blues, and they had a folding table set up, and the, the, all the band members were there. I got some autographs and stuff, but. At the time, I was kind of trying to learn, like, rhythm guitar, mm. and I made, I made the mistake saying, hey, Scott, you know, just want to let you know, you're a huge inspiration, man. I'm, uh, I'm really, you know, I'm trying to learn this uh, guitar stuff, and, uh, yeah, I love, I love your stuff. And he just shot me this look like, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> really, he did, he had a, kind of an angry look in his eyes, and, but I, I, you know what, I... So I kind of walked away from that, like, oh, bummer, man. That, so that Scott kind of Ian was a dick to you. Damn, that's fucked up. To some, de to some degree. You know, here's what I figure. They're, they're, they used to play, like, Madison Square Garden. And at the time, this was, like, five years ago, they were playing, like, House of Blues, which is a real small venue. So I'm thinking maybe Ian is used to playing in front of crowds of 15,000, 20,000 people. I'm thinking about it, because I'm like, well, I didn't piss him off, you know? But, yeah, so that's, that's a, I wanted to share that story with you guys. You should right, have flip, flipped the folding table, like, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> have you ever met anybody? I mean, we're so tough right now. You're, yeah, happened. well, that's because we don't have to face these people face to face. <laughs> have you ever? Uh, you've interviewed? Everybody. I've been lucky, I think, because I can't think of anybody. I mean, that's it. I've interviewed everybody. Had a great time. Rob Zombie's the only interview that was fucked up. It was kind of a dick. Yeah. I can't think of anybody that I've ever encountered that's been a dick. Um, everybody's been cool. I mean, yeah, it's 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 weird because you always hear that Roland. You've encountered a lot of celebrities. Can you yeah. name anybody that's, that kind of disappointed you? Maybe before you were with Carson, so it's before you signed the uh, non-disclosures. <laughs> Maybe when you were a kid or something. Because um, Roland's got stories upon stories, but he's I not know. allowed to tell any of them. I right. tell you when I'm drunk. Yeah, um, exactly. Which is most of the time. Yeah. I'm probably just sports athletes, basically, when I was a kid. They're yeah, assholes. athletes are assholes, the, right? The hockey players, LA Kings, when I was a kid, the nicest people in the world. Then I love the Dodgers. And I waited for an autograph, and I never... Like, I went, Fernando, you're my father, like, laughing, because he's Mexican, I'm Mexican. Yeah. So he came up and got, he took off his hat and just chewed me away. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, he went, he signed my ball. Get the fuck out of here. See, like, all the UFC fighters and the wrestlers have been cool. And Kyle Ripken was cool in here. The and, football players were real nice. Chris and Kardashian what, dissed me. <clears throat> Chris Kardashian, the mom? Yeah. I mean, uh, well, Chris Humphreys, but we call him Chris oh. Kardashian. <laughs> Big faggot. What did, what did Chris Humphreys do? Nah, because I had to DJ um, their fake wedding party that uh -huh. they did at, in, the, in the city somewhere. So. Was it after their fake wedding? It was no. They 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 were like they're married, but they did like marriage parties everywhere across the yeah. Right. So they did one in the city. So I DJ that. So but he never met me. I'm cool with the Kardashians. So, mm. so I, I I went up yeah, to him and said, "What's up?" He also knows that he at that time had married a woman who had a history of. Enjoying okay. the darker, you know, yeah, but he dick, he, if you will. He pushed me away. He did. He was like, oh, whatever, pal. I was like, oh shit. So I told. Chris he thought Kardashian. you were just like a fan or something. Yeah, but meanwhile, I'm DJing the party. Everybody's right, everybody's wiggling. Ooh, ooh. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. I I 100 know what you're saying. Fuck him, yo. And then fucking, I told Kim Kardashian, and all of a sudden, Kim ran up to him. Oh, she. Oh, fuck him. She grabbed by the ear. Take this fucking picture 
like, who kid? Uh, I'm, I got, I got, I'm sorry, Kim. I got the photo, too. I didn't know that was who kid. I'm sorry. Yo, Scott Disick Mr. Like, kid. ripped his asshole up. Scott, that's the other boyfriend, yeah, right? ripped the shit out of but his ass. Scott, I didn't know, Scott. She was like, take He's, this fucking photo with who kid right fucking now. He's a dumb guy, isn't he? He's a stupid fuck. <laughs> he is, right? <laughs> fuck him. He's a member. He is. Alan, you're not the smartest guy. Can you pick up on the fact that Chris Humphreys is a stupid guy? Yeah. You can. Yeah, Good for yeah. you. You look stupid. Good for you. Alan? No, no, Chris Humphreys. Oh, oh, okay. nah, he's cool. He's a guy. He's saying. fucked a black girl. Um, <laughs> all right. Oh, the guy I was about to talk to just hung up. <laughs> uh, we'll go to Bob in PA. What's up, Bob? Yeah, Sam. Nice man. Happy, it's my birthday today, so hey. I'm a little, uh, who kid? What up, son? Happy birthday, kid. <laughs> Eat that <laughs> pussy. <laughs> what? Hey, Sam, I want that t-shirt for my birthday, but first of all, I called to say what I learned today. I learned that E-Rock likes to serve more than he likes Rob Zombie. Yeah, E-Rock, why did you play Disturbed? E Rock is my boy. E Rock, but E Rock, like right before Rob Zombie was coming in, like at the beginning of that segment, E Rock put on a disturbed song. I love E Rock now. Why? I'm getting him some pussy today. Why? <laughs> Why you? Because he fucking went against the grain. <laughs> it's my man. Why did you play disturbed, E Rock? There have been times we've had people in, and if I played their music, then they sit there and go, "Oh, he's playing their song." Is it coming in now? It's mm. all uncomfortable. Yeah, but you don't play something similar. <laughs> <laughs> like, you either go completely different or you play the shit. You don't play, like, something of the same genre. Why not? Because it doesn't make any sense. It's like everybody picks up on the fact that, okay, this reminds me of Rob Zombie, but it isn't Rob Zombie. Nah, I think you're overthinking the rejoinder music. Dude, every single person in this room was like, what the fuck is he doing in there? Because you brought it up. No, I didn't bring it up. I saw your face just going around trying to get other people's attention <laughs> with your eyebrows up. Like, what is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? The minute everybody put their headphones on, they were all asking the same question. All what right. the fuck is he doing in there? Why would you play Disturbed? <laughs> Roland, does it make any sense to you? Nah. What'd you say, Bob? I said, can I get something for my birthday? Yeah, I'll send you a mixtape. All right, that works. All right, I'll put you on hold. I do remember... Uh, Bob in PA. Terrell Owens, when he came here... Um, oh, that was yeah. my favorite with the football? Er, yeah, Eric Eric didn't put a name tag on one of the footballs. Well, and Ted Tio goes, I'll sign anything, but just yeah. you have to to whoever. Because he doesn't want it eBayed. Yeah, okay. So Eric, one of the, uh, either he didn't put it in or it fell off... And then Tia goes, who's this for? I go, I don't know. He goes, well, now it's to Nicole. Oh, that's <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. He goes, someone's uh, pitching up. She put one there, bitch. <laughs> so, Iraq, you have a football from T.O. that says to Nicole? I think so. Oh. It yeah. might be somewhere. <laughs> it's in, it's in his autograph collection. There was supposed to be a name tag on it, but. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got it. Right. <laughs> so great. Uh, Rick in the Bronx. Hey, prime time. What's up, buddy? What up, kid? I sold the. Uh, a used washer and dryer to a uh, New York news celebrity, Storm Fields. Storm oh, Fields wow. is the weather guy. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he shorted me 50 bucks. He brought a bunch of coffee mugs. What a loser. And uh, shorted me 50 bucks. And then I emailed him, and he said, oh, it's a big mis misunderstanding. We should have counted it together. What? He sent me a check for 25 bucks. He still... <laughs> <laughs> he just wouldn't let it slide. He needed to He needed to know that he won. He still got a little deal on you. I, I'd like to see what he pulls in restaurants and everything else. You know, he tries to pull that card and... He's just leaving eight by tens instead of tips? Wow. And Sam, you yeah. got to drive a little faster on the West Side Highway, man. I whiz past you sometimes. You're doing about 40, kid. Dude, I've gotten way too many tickets on the West Side Highway. Do you understand? I'm going to end up like DJ Who Kid. I literally have to set it... On the sp First of all, I don't need you stalking me on any West Side Highway. <laughs> I don't know why you know what I'm doing on the West Side Highway. Hair from a mile away. How many things do you have right now? I got a lot. And they're all pending, and like I don't need to get a sp suspended license right now. <laughs> I'm the only guy who get... I don't drink. Serious? The only people... I'm about to get my license suspended. Because they got... Cause they got what? I'm like, I don't have one. It's been like, what, 12 years? I understand that, but I'm not doing a night in jail. <laughs> okay? I'm not doing that. I don't have DJ cred. Get your ass fingered for a change, man. I, I don't have 50 cents lawyer to call <laughs> to get me out of my bullshit like did, you did, do. Did you get me out of here? Did you, fix your, did you fix your driver's license situation? It's a coincidence this came up. I'm going to court Thursday to you are. finalize everything, pay all my bills. How much are you going to have to pay? My fee, whatever. I got uh, it's like 2000 something. <laughs> It's like two thousand, and I got a civil a civil penalty for like seven hundred fifty, which 
may be uh, reduced because I have 50 lawyers. <laughs> 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 that shit, that shit low. Yeah, dude, I can't. I I set. I go. I, I get my speedometer to the speed limit on the West Side Highway and then cruise control. I am not because I, I just it, you are such a fucking uterus. Because I start speeding and I get tickets every time. They just love pulling me over. They think I'm black. I don't know what it is. <laughs> that hair, yo. You got that nigga hair. Is that what it is? Look at that shit, man. Do I need to inform them that it's just the hair? <laughs> I'm not actually an N-word? Where t shirts think I'm not a nigga. Yeah, but you, what, can I get one from you? <laughs> I mean, that's I, what I, you I, rock I'll all get, the time. I'll get a hat made for you. <laughs> Pick a fit. <laughs> Bobby. Bobby. Yep. What's yeah. that, buddy? Hey, uh, when you met Rob Zombie, that was at the Virgin Megastore? Yeah. Your yeah. I was at the same thing. He was awesome there, man. But I met Nikki Six from Motley Crue there. He was the most pretentious piece of shit I've ever <laughs> had in my life. Really? At an autograph signing? Damn. You didn't have tits, you didn't care. He didn't want to talk to you. Oh, what a son of a bitch. I actually met him before. He's, He's kind of cool. Man. You said he was a piece of shit? Like... He was a piece of fucking garbage, man. <laughs> how, did, how did you how did you pick that up just from a signing? Like uh, you could definitely tell when someone's cool. It's like the aura. You at the tell. at the autograph signing with Rob Zombie, he was there with his whole band, hmm. and it, it was actually when I was working for Scorch. That's how long ago it was. But he was there with his whole band, and you're right. He couldn't have been cooler at that signing. <laughs> his band couldn't have been cooler. What was it? What did Nikki Six do that pissed you off to this extent? Well, the thing the thing I dug about Rob Zombie's signing was. When he, I don't know if you remember, but when he walked in and they had a table like on a stage set up. Yeah. And he said, get this out of here. He goes, I don't want to work down at my hands. I want to work eye to eye with him. Which was so great because I need, I took a photo with him. I got my shit signed, you know, not my shit, my arm, you know, not my no, no. shit. I, I got a photo with him showing me at a moment. It was, it was beautiful. But Nikki Six, there was probably two or three thousand people waiting to meet this guy. Wow. And he was just, you know, again, if you didn't have tits, you didn't. Didn't want to talk to you. <laughs> I was listening to my like, all these lies. You know, I, I, everyone's saying the same thing. Oh, Nick, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan. I'm trying to say something that maybe I can engage in the conversation. So I'm like, I'm a bass player too. I play the same bass as you. Yeah. And he didn't even make eye contact with me. He wouldn't sign any of my memorabilia. He wouldn't take a picture. He just damn. You know, he, just, he just went to the book, signed it. He goes, so what's going on? I'm like, apparently nothing. And I just walked away. Wow. That's the beauty of rock stars, though. You know at some point he's going to be hard up and he's going to wonder why nobody likes him. This is like a, this is repetitious, bro. Rock stars don't respect other musicians? I guess they don't like the fans. I don't know. Unless they got tits. Yeah. Unless they got tits. I met Angus Young from ACDC at the same place, and I told him, I said, hey, you know, you're the reason I'm playing guitar. And he was cool? And he's a, you know, he was awesome. He high-fived me. And, I mean, a high-five, you know, just Jim Norton goes, that's the way to go, man. But mm, yeah. it was it was great, man. And, and, it's awesome. You know, you, you got to learn to appreciate stuff like that. But Nicky Sex, fuck him and fuck his family. <laughs> All right, good to know. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. Fuck his family. It might be like a comic, though. They're, they're telling the comic, I know a good joke, let me tell you. Yeah. Maybe, I, you could, maybe it's a bad day. They're like, I, enough. <laughs> Enough of your dumb shit. I guess I just couldn't picture somebody coming up to you and being like, I like what you do. I'm actually just paying money for your art. Can I take a photo with mm. you? Can I have an autograph? And not being like, yeah, for humble. sure. Like, you gotta be a little humble out there. Right. Man. Like, when somebody comes up to me and they go, hey, Sam, I'm a big fan. Can I take a picture with you? Mm. Like, in my head, I'm going, what the fuck is going on? This is great. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to sit there and be like, yeah, dude, of course. Uh, uh. I'm going to be like, holy shit, this mm. doesn't happen to people. That's why I always take photos with bitches that suck my dick. I mean, I, I respect them. Uh, no, the that's fans. that's no, that's no, that's what? what he was talking about with Nikki Six. Uh, You're the guy who's not paying attention unless they're sucking I'm not letting your no dick. dude suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> they're already on the dick. What's up, Alan Thick Jr.? <laughs> Do you think he might have been jaded by Suck all the money dick. he lost from like like online piracy and music and stuff? Listen, if you're if you lose a whole bunch of money, mm. you should be even more thankful that there are fans in a record store buying your C D and asking you to sign it. Well the bootleg yeah, and going. They on. weren't pirating. You know what I mean? They're the people who aren't pirating. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unless you can be a fucking asshole, then I'll just go to Napster instead of dealing with this bullshit. Yeah, you gotta and I know them. I know Napster's not around anymore, but neither's the Virgin Megastore, so cut me some slack. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Damn. I'm in the era. <laughs> you ever met anybody famous that you didn't like except for me? I was kind of disappointed when I met Adam Carolla, but that's about it. Why? <laughs> oh I'm, shit. Well, I mean, I like you know he he's a big reason why I got into radio, like why I'm really interested in it. Mm -hmm. And when I met him, I was like, hey, like you know, you're the reason why I got into into radio. And he's like, hey, all right. And they took a picture, and it was like, and I didn't even have time to like set up. It, it was essentially a crotch shot of me, with, like. <laughs> Right next to Adam Carolla's head. Like. Well, that's partly because you're an idiot, and partly because, yeah, you're just being a dick. Um, 
So who's your new Radio Row model? You. That's what I thought. Yeah. That's what I <laughs> thought. on your dick. Well, they all are. I mean, in a cool way. <laughs> in mean, a cool way. Yeah, not, yeah. A, not like some yeah, pussy it's shit, it's right? Not sack. Right. Like in a good way. In Like that's hip hop, right? That's the, that's the hip hop shit. I right? mean. Diddy says it all the time. He's, yeah, he's on my dick. You on my dick, son. <laughs> and then it's cool. It's just like, all right. You know all right cool, man. I'm on Diddy's dick. Yeah, yeah. You know what else is cool? <laughs> oh, here we go. The shaving. But no, I oh. know what I'm going to talk about. We're talking about Rob Zombie. Oh, okay. Fuck you know it. what Rob Zombie doesn't do, though? No, don't fuck. No, not fuck. He's the fucking man. You know he why? Got tattoo. All right, I'm, I'm respect him. I got, got his tattoo. Got I got his ass. fucking autograph on my arm forever. <laughs> it's not on my ass. I would never show you my ass. You know what's cool about Rob Zombie? His name's Rob Zombie, mm -hmm. but he doesn't sit around zombieing out his face with day old razors. <laughs> You know oh, what really? I mean? <laughs> he keeps that face smooth. Well, except when he's growing out that big scraggly beard. But when it comes time to shave it, he shaves it. He's always wife, got his wife's pussy. I don't know about that, kid. We're he not talking. His wife's pussy. Is I, I just told you I don't know <laughs> about that. Just trying to make sure everybody hears it. Bzz, bzz, bzz. <laughs> no, no. Bzz, bzz, bzz. It doesn't have to vibrate. Rob Zombie knows that. He knows that you don't need a vibrating shave handle. That shit. You don't need a back scratcher. You don't need ten blades. Seriously. Alan Thick Jr., have you noticed the price that you pay for new razor blades? It's all my expenditure income. It's how much? It's all my money. Is that in pesos? <laughs> <laughs> and you do this every month for the rest of your life. This should be a... <laughs> This is your Rob Zombie Dollar Shave Club moment, okay? This is what it's all about. You don't have to shell out 20 bucks month after month. Dollar Shave Club is genius. You send them a couple bucks every month. A couple bucks, not 20. Just mm. a, a few bucks. Mm. And they deliver amazing quality razor blades right to your door. You save a fortune, and you always have fresh blades on hand. Join the rest of the Opie and Anthony after Opie and Anthony Live. They don't put that in the copy, but I make sure to mention my show's name. After Opie and Anthony Live listeners and get a great shave and keep your cash at dollarshaveclub.com. Dollarshaveclub.com. That's dollarshaveclub.com. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> You knew it was coming, Roland? We had a double bonus. <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. <laughs> Let me go to Matt in Pennsylvania. What's up, Matt? Hey, what's up, Sam Roberts? What's the app? How are you doing? All right. What's up, who, kid? What up, kid? You know the only other person that's ever asked me, what's the haps? I didn't have any. Paul Heyman asked me, what's the haps? He goes, let me ask you, what's the haps? I'd be like, I have no fucking idea. I ask people that question. I don't know what it means. That's the second time I asked you, and you said... You didn't answer. You just replied with another question. Yeah, because I don't know what the hell. It doesn't mean anything. I just say it. <laughs> you, guys, you guys remember that show, uh, Home Improvement with Tim the Tool Man? Tim? <laughs> what's, that, what's that dude's name? What's the, what's the lead star? Tim Allen. Mm. He's a fucking asshole. <laughs> oh shit! What did you try to go? Did you try to? Did you try to take his hot rod out of the garage? He's the only one who drives the hot rod. He he was partial owner of a uh, an open wheel race car, mm -hmm. and, he, and I was running security at a, at a Penske racing uh, facility. Mm -hmm. He was fucking drunk driving through. Okay, I don't know if that's true for sure, but go ahead. It could be a lie, but it absolutely is true. I mean, if you probably ask him, he doesn't remember because well, it's a legend. Hammered. Yeah, I mean, it's what the caller says. <laughs> a legend. <laughs> but he was a dick. Uh, total, total dickhead. Right. I tried to tell him to slow down. No. He, he gave me the finger and he fucking flew up to me in his goddamn whatever luxury car he was driving. And the guy was <laughs> oh, man. I don't, I don't think so, man. I hope it's I, 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 for one, hope it's true because it's hilarious. But I don't know for sure. It's, it's, I mean, it's mad. You know, I don't know. He's asking me what's the haps. He's obviously a lunatic. Uh, let's go to Racist Francesa. Racist. Up, How's it going, Racist Francesa? Hey. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Okay, what's good? What up, my nigga? <laughs> my nigga? I like uh, this. We get Racist Francesa out of character. That's hot. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I got a quote. Uh, biggest dick celebrity and a cool celebrity. Biggest dick celebrity is Dan Harron. You know who he is? He used to pitch for the Angels. Oh, yeah. oh another fucking baseball yeah, player. Sports star. Yeah. Dick, he's from Washington Heights, too. He's like, hey, what's up, Danny Harris from the Heights? He's like, yeah, great. He's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> well, the coolest celebrity I met, though, recently, the WrestleMania 29, Sam Roberts. Who's that? There you go. Oh, my God. There you go. How great was that interaction, huh? Who, who's, 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 the, who's the coolest celebrity that I met, Sam? Tell me. Professional broadcaster, primetime Sam Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. That's the well, only way to go. Thank you, bro. Come on, bro. Hook it up. All right, buddy. I respect that. I'm right going to put there. you on holding. I'll give you definitely a mixtape. Maybe get, you can give these guys T-shirts, too. We got T-shirts, right, Eric? 
Yeah, we got. Uh, are they wanting the ones that we got yesterday? Those Halloween ones, or the just regular show shirts? No, just give them regular show shirts. <laughs> okay, we got those. All right, stay on hold, racist Francesca. Yo, Sam, there's a big juicy banana here. Can I taste it? What the fuck are you talking about right now, who kid? That's my. <laughs> a black can't have a, can't have a banana in front of me, son. <laughs> you just said there's a big juicy banana. <laughs> There is, though. I guess it's a, yeah, there's a piece of, if you want it. That's my banana. Oh, that's your, uh, I don't oh. want it. That's my banana, who kid? I don't want to taste your banana, man. This is getting weird in here. <laughs> really weird. What's up, Jason, in Detroit? <laughs> what up, kid, who kid? What up, kid? Hey, um, I used to, uh, put it <laughs> oh, Jesus, okay. Jason, if you could hang on a second. <laughs> Alan Thick Jr., the intern. Oh, my Jim God. Jim left his banana here. <laughs> Yes. When Jim leaves grapes, you go, can I have those grapes? Yes. When Jim leaves a banana, you go, can I have that banana? You like to eat Jim's leftover fruit, correct? Correct. Uh, who kid brought attention to it just now? Mm -hmm. It was what crazy. The, what the audience didn't see was Roland requested the banana. <laughs> and while we were talking to Jason in Detroit, uh, intern Alan Thick Jr., what happened? Um... Roland asked for the banana, I handed it to him, and then Roland immediately destroyed the banana. <laughs> Why would you give it to him? He took, the, he, took, he took the banana, he slammed it down on the table, and squished he, it. he squished it like a rolling pin, and then he chucked it in the garbage can. <laughs> that had to be a disappointment for you, yes? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Why would you give it to Roland? Hey, you fucked Because I didn't think he was going to do that. Well, no, you could have ended that sentence early. Oh. You didn't think, did you? <laughs> I didn't. Think. Not a lot of that goes on, huh? I guess not. It's no. all good, buddy. Hey, Roland, you're a bully, man. It's all good. A little bit of a Fuck. bully. <laughs> Picking on the retarded kid, huh, Roland? Yeah. That's no offense to you, Alan. Yeah, that's all right. Jay, I know Timmy. it is. <laughs> Timmy. <laughs> Do they still do that character? <laughs> oh, yeah. God, he's bringing him. They do? Timmy yeah. is still on South Park? Still on South Park. But he, he, just, he just sits in the back. He doesn't really say anything. Yeah, anymore. he hasn't had an episode in a while. Yeah, because I remember saying Timmy when I was in high school. I love it. <laughs> Timmy! I'm right. fun of retards, man. I mean, handicaps. Right, right. What's up, Jason? Hey, guys. Um, years ago, I used to put in pool tables for a living, and uh, had to go to Allen Houston South when he played for the Pistons before he went to the Knicks. And uh, I uh, knew the day before I was going up there, so I went out and bought myself a nice NBA re uh, regulation basketball. Cost, nice. me, cost me a few bucks. Yeah. Uh, figured I'd go up there and uh, ask, I put in this pool table, real beautiful house in the uh, outskirts of Detroit. And, you know, sometimes, uh, you, sometimes you spend a couple bucks when you're going to meet these people. Like when Tarantino was in here, I was like, you know what? I'm going to shell out $80, $90. I'm going to get that Blu-ray box set so I can mm. get the old QT on it. Yeah, so uh, I, you know, I, I put in this pool table, go over everything with him, um, take out my, you know, have my uh, my assistant go get the basketball, you know, he signed, you know, that we delivered the pool table. I go, hey, uh, I'm a big fan. Can I get an autograph? You know, if you can make it out to me. He's like, nah, man, I can't do that for you. No way. After all that shit. Why not? You weren't you weren't in a public place. I know, and uh, so luckily, actually, like you said, it cost me a few bucks. Luckily, I took the, I had still had the receipt and took the ball back. And after that, when the Pistons got rid of him, I was so happy. I never liked that guy since. Yeah. I was glad he went to the Knicks. Glad he never won a championship. <laughs> these Fuck fucking athletes, guy. these they don't realize. Straight naval lint, I'm telling you. Naval lint? Like that belly button shit? He made him do all that and couldn't sign a ball? What they, a loser. They, these athletes don't understand. Fuck him. That this shit called life is cyclical, okay? <laughs> and I will meet you on the other end and we'll see what happens, Okay. <laughs> When this, whatever his name is He's in so Detroit. evil, man. That's evil. That's true. No, that's what happens. Some real shit. That's some karmatic shit, who kid? <laughs> recognize. That's evil. You know what? If I had come on your show three or four years ago with that Rick Ross interview, mm -hmm. and you had played the interview, and you would have been like, that's a funny interview. Now get the fuck out of here, <laughs> white boy. And thrown me off your show like that? Yeah, yeah. Guess what? You would have been, yeah. I never would have brought you into my universe, exactly. and we never would have been able to create... This great empire that we're in the process of creating. I would have been a regular nigga. Right, exactly. That's exactly what you would have been. No, I'm that nigga. And I would have been like, you guys know who, kid? And Opie would have been like, what, that regular nigga? <laughs> exactly. And I would have been like, Opie, don't use that word. Who, kid, is not giving you permission. Because in this alternate dimension, he decided to be a dickhead. It all, what goes around comes around. Of course. Treat people the way you'd like to be treated, if I'm yeah. trying to tell you who, kid. That's what my mother taught me. And give me care cake. You know, Mother's Day is coming up, by the way. This is why mm. you got to respect your moms. I mean, you respect your moms by... You, I'll just give her a G every time she sees me. But, and you watched her. Didn't you watch her, like, shave her 
pubic hairs or whatever. Long time ago. Yeah, you did do that when you were <laughs> when you were younger. <laughs> but you give her a thousand dollars every time you I see. I can't even remember that. Like, of course, I, I remember everything. She would remember, yeah. You would remember yeah. me. Watching I also, I also, I remember you uh, <laughs> peeking on your mom in a Don Draper moment. If you saw Mad Men this week, <laughs> peeking in on your mom uh, while she. Washed her vagina. Yeah, with the old pan. Yeah, the, the no, pan. I remember. The and I remember, uh, yeah. I remember Big Pun dragging you into a van and putting an Uzi to your head. That's what I remember yeah. about you. You remember all the uh, casualties and uh, atrocities. There's a lot of stories about you, but you give a thousand dollars to your mom every time you see her. That's why I don't see her too much. <laughs> you gonna see her for Mother's Day? Hell no, that bitch worth five G's. <laughs> Fuck her. Well, you know you don't have to. You don't have to give her five G's. There's a better gift than that. She says she wants five. She put it on a contract. What are you going to do, <laughs> Alan Thick Jr., for your mom for Mother's Day? What, are you going to give her a lame card that you picked up from a gas station? Nah, nah. What, are you going <laughs> to take her out for the same old dinner? Uh, I don't take my mom out to dinner. So what are you going to do? <laughs> well, why don't you take my advice, okay. Alan? Yeah. DJ Who Kid, why don't you take my advice? I will. Why don't you head to Steven Singer Jewelers, okay? Steven will make you look like a hero, and it's so easy. Ooh. You can find Steven online 24-7 at IHateStevenSinger.com. Nah. That means you don't have to wake up early, who, kid? That's great news, isn't it? Woo! <laughs> Steven Singer Jewelers has a beautiful selection of gifts, perfect for Mother's Day. This year, Steven has really come through. Steven has a beautiful, super silver, argentium, mother and child diamond necklace. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I don't know exploded. what that was. But you're used to paying how much for diamond stuff? A couple of G's. Yeah, no, it's only $149, who, kid? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on on that side of the table. 149 bucks. So whether you're shopping for your mom, your wife, or your mother-in-law, Steven's going to make this Mother's Day so easy. Don't screw it up. Or oh, your bitch. You're going to get the mother of your children, your wife. Are you going to get her a nice necklace? I'm going to shit. Okay, well, all right. Well, maybe her. it doesn't apply to you as much. But I need I need to get my wife something. But for 100 bucks, I got get it for my bitch. Give mom, or your baby mom, a gift that will last a lifetime. <laughs> baby mom. Go online right now to <laughs> IHateStevenSinger.com. It wasn't a racial thing. And check out, it's because you're not a responsible guy. <laughs> <laughs> and check out the Super Silver Argentia Mother and Child Diamond Necklace. This beautiful necklace is going to make her Mother's Day special. Twinkle. Visit Steven Singer Jewelers, the other corner of 8th and Walnut, or call him toll free at 888 I Hate Steven Singer or online with free shipping at I Hate Steven Singer dot com. Steven Singer is going to make your Mother's Day shopping easy. Gonna get that ice. Who needs. A sound effect machine when you have DJ Who Kid in the room while it's you're doing like live It's like the Brian Regan golf bit. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually exploded at that time. When you said 100 bucks. That time you blew up. It's 149 bucks. That is diamonds? Like you said, it's Jacob quality at some mall prices. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Who Kid, what you got going on? Uh, well, you know, I got the Willie Nelson birthday party this weekend. That's exciting. On my show. On your show, so, so people can tune in to Shade 45 Willie all Willie Nelson will be live with me, and, uh, you know, all the weed smokers, 420, the marijuana 420, shit. 420, of so course. So I got Willie Nelson, Wiz Khalifa, Snoop Dogg, and, uh, I was supposed to have Cheech and Chong, but no one of them got diarrhea or something like that. I don't know. They're coming. I don't know. They're coming. Yeah. One of them may have diarrhea here, though. Yeah. So be aware. That's hot. Now, uh, Alan Thick Jr., Yes. on Thursday... We're going to get into something, because you told, we, we went into de in depth with you on Friday. Correct. And we talked about your girlfriend and your relationship. The black, and, the black girl. The black girl. Mm -hmm. He talked to the black girl about everything that we said. What? Yeah. And, and he showed her pictures of Troy and you. No way. I did. We'll get into it on Thursday, because we're out of time now. Holy Ron shit. Ron and Fez are coming up next. <laughs> See you later. What? <laughs>